Being an outlaw isn't just about signing a piece of paper. It's the hard work, late nights, and all the blood, sweat, and tears you put in, week in and week out. Respect is to be earned, not given. And the same goes for becoming an outlaw. Follow along while 18-year-old Noah Gass competes in his rookie season on Becoming an Outlaw. Lucky and drew a good one. You know, something about him all year is he's getting better at, you know, understanding half miles. And the guys we use, we use them because they want us to get better. Uh, they're helping us. So, you know, Paul and Mike, I mean, I've got their phone numbers in my pocket. I talk to them a ton through race night. If there's just a little issue, they're, they're there. Big issues, they're there. The vibration. What is it? I can, like, hear the mechanicals of it, like. This is new engine shit. I thought he was doing a really good job. He just, you know, learning and keeping the car under him and just making a good lap and went out and made a good lap and then, you know, put us on the front row of the heat. And uh, that probably worked in our favor because the track was so good. And uh, he just did a good job. And uh, I thought he could have won the heat. And, you know, he, he made a couple mistakes and uh, got passed and then ran second though. And I mean, you're on top four in a heat race there. It's, it's tough. Kid. <laughs> Thought I had him. I, I got on the bottom pretty good right there in the one, and I was like, man, I'm gonna be able to slide him, but he had too many momentum around me. But second place in the show, not bad, gonna get some laps. The car feels freaking amazing, so I keep ripping laps and see what happens. Woo! Zero, three. Yeah. If you have that number, bring it to the tower. Oh. I almost had him. I couldn't see, so I didn't know if you like missed it or you were you right. tried to slide him. Do you almost smoke the <laughs> gate? I was yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was—I didn't feel like I was that close. I, I, I was, was on the. Like, there was a couple times yeah. I was like, but the higher you <laughs> got, the better you get yeah. out. Actually, good job, no. Oh, that was awesome. Make our first A feature here right out of the heat races. I'm pretty sure that was the first time. And, and to be in this big an event in the A feature, the qualifying night, that, that's bad. That's bad to bone. I couldn't follow him, so I had to slide or hit the bottom, and I knew I wasn't going to hit the bottom. So I had to just throw the slider and see what happened. I thought I was going to go a long slider. I couldn't see it. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't have enough momentum to show that throw a slider. So, yeah. I mean, that's what you need to do, throw a long one. I mean, you gotta throw a long one right there just to, just to. I mean, it's better than falling, so. Look good, motor run. Yeah. So, and I felt like I was chopping up air behind me. No, no way was behind me. Okay. You, you sucked, well, you backed up the bay log a little bit, and then you started hitting lap time. Just boom, boom, oh. boom. And then you sucked the 53 car up, and then you slid him and kind of got his gap. And then. You, you once you stayed right with him, but yeah. after you slid him, he got in the slick and spun it. I think he spun it back because he blew up and he blew up. But I think he got in the slick and spun it. Yeah, we put it to put it in the show. Uh, got some really good laps, and I thought he was getting better and better at the very end. Something to build on. You were sucking them up so bad down there, but you were losing what you were gaining off of two. If you couldn't get off of two straight, it was, you were screwed. But off of the bottom, you were still digging. You could drive right across their nose. So you did a really good job. It was one of the best races you ran all year. <laughs> solid, solid. I love it. It's really good. You're moving around. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of gave up a lot on the start, and I got to race in brown, and I just knew I, 
if I didn't miss the bottom, we would have been fine. Of course, as soon as I thought that, I missed the bottom. So I gave that up, and if I didn't give that up, I probably could have got Copoid as well. But I mean, that's the best we've ever ran on a big track period, much less here. So I'll take it. And during the 410 Nationals, keep that on that. Yeah, the Nationals, yeah, during the Nationals, making the feature was the first goal, and that came way easier than I expected. Um, you know, made a couple minor adjustments on the car, and it felt like we got better and better throughout the night, so really happy with that, couldn't ask for much more. He's running the top, you realize, okay, this is not going to work, you go zing the bottom down here, and there's like a light switch come on. And all of a sudden, here you start passing cars, yeah. you start running everybody down, bam, bam, bam. Cool. It's all you had a fast car tonight. Yeah. And you was driving that thing really well. Like I, whenever I came out of the pits, the right front was like off the ground. And like I can get on the throttle and the right front was like off the ground. So I don't know what he did, but that felt good. So cool. he just keeps working on it for you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Next night we go to Hard Knocks night, and he just, I mean, he drove his butt off. He drove really well, qualified well, heat raced well. Um, just didn't work out as good as it could have, and got in the B feature, and I think just just wanted it too bad. As, bad, as, hard, as weird as that sounds, he just, he just tried a little too hard, and on the half mile, if you try too hard and get the car out of whack, um, man, it's just... It's tough to get going again. It's just momentum. I knew that he really wanted it. Uh, he felt confident. He uh, really thought he was going to go out, make the A again, uh, and things didn't work out that way. And he was upset about it. Uh, he knew he could have. He had the ability to do it, and he let it slip away from him. And it just uh, to struggle and then do so good and then not make it the second night. I think that just really. Hit him hard and and uh, he just broke down a little bit. And, you know, I, it, it's good to see that he was wanted that bad and to see the emotion is good. And uh, he 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 enjoyed. He loves doing this. He's done it for a long time. He wants to be good at it no matter what he does. And uh, he just he just keeps trying and trying to, to get better every time he gets in the car. And, that's pretty much all we can ask for. It was heartbreaking to see that. I think he understood. And of course, Saturday night just kind of threw it away. Nothing under our control. Just parts failures and that happens in racing. So overall, the, the Knoxville experience this year. I mean, last year we were a joke. We were an E main, barely made it to the D main. Uh, this year, I felt like we were better and actually prepared for it. Um, so made the D last year, made the C this year. The goal, of course, next year is to make the B. I got a pretty decent start. First lap, I felt like I was faster than third and fourth in front of me, and I just yeah, the next lap I wasn't. The next lap after that I wasn't, and I just fell back and fell back and fell back, and started driving. You know, somewhere halfway through, I just started driving the piss out of it, and it didn't make any difference. So I don't know. It just <laughs> I was pretty much crying when I got out of the car, so. I don't know, I just... I just, I just really wanted it. Man, I wanted it. It's, it's so close, but I just, I just can't get it.